Peter, many congratulations. Thank Looking you. at a semi final place here at the Grand Slam of Darts. A seesaw game. Just try and sum up how you're feeling right now. <sighs> Obviously, I'm really, really, really happy uh, uh, to get away with uh, tinkering, uh, but you know, you know I, I believed in uh, my throw and action, and I believed uh, I could uh, put Chizzy under pressure. I know he's a fantastic player, and he'll three, four legs, he'll go mental like uh, MVG does, uh, and I thought if I can just keep with him and he might miss a double or something like that and I can pounce on it, and which I did. Which you see you change setups after the first two sessions, just what was going wrong with the first setup and what did you change to? What, 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 what they're, they're both exactly the same, both 26 grams, uh, but one was like a yellow flight, obviously, when I just rounded the top end, top end off, and, uh, uh, They've been working in practice, but not not quite as well as I wanted them to go on stage, uh, which which is a shame you know, because you know, the way they're going in practice was better than what I had. But uh, you know, hopefully Joe will lock all my flights and stems away uh, for tomorrow, so I don't get bored and start doing other stuff ready for the semis. <laughs> a gamble that could have not paid off but lucky enough you changed early enough so the damage wasn't completely yeah done. that's what I thought you know it was like 6-4 and as I was walking back I went MVG was down 6-4 yesterday and you know should have been a lot, lot more than that he should have been 8-2 eight, eight, down to be honest uh, against Ian White uh, I thought I'm better than MVG in my, in my head I'm better than MVG so if he can go 6-4 and then go ahead and win the match, so can I. From 8-5 down, reeled off seven legs in a row, a brilliant 1-3-1 one, one finish. It was almost as if you could just place in the minute with them during that little period. Yeah, it was, you know, they go like that sometimes and it's it, it's lovely and that's you know, I'm going to work, work on that more and more and they're going to get more consistent so I don't have a lapse at all. People just got to play it all some more time otherwise they're going to go out. Semi-final, I mean Michael Smith or Glenn Darrant, but the way you're playing, that's going to be an extremely tough game for them to beat you, isn't it? Yeah, well, as long as I keep playing like that, yeah, yeah, it'd be a difficult game for them to try and beat me. Uh, and aside of that, or they've got to have their game in life and we'll break records, you know. You seem to be really enjoying this newfound confidence and newfound you from a sluggish start to the year. Yeah, yeah, uh, but I, had some, I thought I was going to win the match play. I was in a little bit of a purple patch then uh, and I was disappointed when I went out in the quarters uh, you know in my head I should have won that in my head no disrespect to all the other players who was in the tournament but you know uh, now, now I'm in the semi-finals of this one yeah congratulations and we'll see you again on Sunday thank you very much cheers boys just one from me Peter at what point did you think about changing does was it literally a couple of legs in or was it a little bit later no, that was, I, I, I said to myself, right, give it two breaks. Uh, if you're not ahead, then change. Okay. So, and so I did. Was it something you maybe thought about before the match? Did you? Yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. That's why I had another set up in the, in the back room, in the, the, the practice room, and uh, I made sure, right, if, you know, if I start again, you know, beaten and they're not quite working, then, you know, I can pull out the, the faithful ones. All right, thank you very much, Peter. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter.